won't forget what happened. And I'll make sure the people responsible get what they deserve! Hello, this is Barbara. There were several murders in our city recently. Please go to the last crime scene and get information for a news article. Oh, and don't forget to take some pictures. I've already cleared it with the police. Constable Melinda Watson will meet you there and tell you about the case. I'm Melinda Watson, the local constable. Our whole department thinks you're the best crime reporter out there. Nice to meet you. Your photos and articles have helped a lot of our investigations. I was told to give you the information we have on the previous murders. Please, look over these documents. You can help me examine the crime scene once you're done. Could you also take some shots for the police? I'm going to write up a report for the chief in the meantime. Here. You'll need this. Hey, are your photos ready? If you give them to me, I can send them to the department lab. The fire is completely out now. You can go in. But honestly, there's not much left in there. All right, let's examine the scene. Please, bring me any clues you find, and we'll look over everything together.
Now we can investigate the house. Please, help me look for some evidence. This will be good material for your article. Well done! I had some luck, too. I found out the fire wasn't an accident. Someone disabled the fire alarm. Maybe that's why the firefighters arrived so late. Let's compare our evidence to get a better idea of what happened. Almost every town used to use this liquid for fireplaces and lamps, but it was discontinued for being too flammable. Where could the killer have gotten it? Mr. Sanders decided to deal with this on his own. He was definitely hiding something, and the killer blackmailed him. Mr. 
Sanders liked keeping his savings in a bank. He wouldn't need a pile of money like this. to follow him. Ah, this cut hurts. I'll need help catching that criminal. Please, come with me. Hurry, we need to catch him. Mm -hmm. The trail ends here. Please, search this place thoroughly. I need a moment to catch my breath. Don't move!
Thanks for your help. I'm sure the killer won't just stop now. We need to know what his next move is, and get the name of his next victim. Here, I found this. Maybe it'll be useful. An article about a horse show, a report on judicial proceedings, a factory closure. It was all in the news right after the fire at the factory. So many deaths. The trial took an entire month. Judge Kevin Russell tried to solve the case. There were folders full of information, but nobody left the courtroom in handcuffs. Furious people held demonstrations demanding justice. There was a rumor that the judge got paid off. No matter how hard the paparazzi tried to dig up dirt, it was all for nothing. If there was at least a fingerprint of proof, Mr. Russell would have been in prison. But someone destroyed all the evidence better than any janitor could have. So I'll punish him myself. I'll go to the police for some backup. Meanwhile, Check on Judge Russell. I hope the killer hasn't made it to his house yet. I'll meet you there.
Here you are. Just like I planned. We finally caught the notorious arsonist murderer. You're finally awake. How are you feeling? You were arrested and charged with murder. But I know you're not guilty. Unfortunately, I can't help you yet. All the evidence is against you. And everyone thinks you're in collusion with Plague Doctor. I don't even know how long the investigation will last. The paperwork alone takes so much time. I'm sorry. I have to go now. Duty calls.
Well, hello. Uh, I was waiting for Liam, not you. I thought he'd come to destroy all the evidence. That's a shame he didn't. The legal system has shown it can't be trusted. So I won't let you give these documents to the police. I'm the city's judge now.
Stay where you are! Who are you? Uh, oh, uh, oh uh, you're, you're that famous reporter. I'm Liam Powell, the head of this company. You see, someone sneaked into the warehouse. I know that Cameron is hunting me and getting closer every day. That's why I'm afraid of leaving here. He could easily catch me. Please, go and find Cameron. I promise, I'll help you in return. He ran to the archive. All the company documents are there. Hurry! You must stop him! I'll stay here and try to do something with all this scaffolding.
Let's see what Cameron was looking for. That lunatic locked me up and ran away! Let me out of here! Thank you. Listen, I think I know who Cameron's next victim might be. It's Meredith Thompson, an apartment house manager. She knew that the Garden Street building hadn't passed the fire safety inspection. She also took the tenant's money meant for fire exits in the building and spent it on herself. Meredith's a crook. But... She doesn't deserve to die. Take my horse from the stable and find her. This may come in handy.
I warned you. What did you do with that money, huh? You knew perfectly well you'd spend it on yourself. I'm better now, but I'm still scared. I've been staying inside since the crime started. That woman was Alice. She must have climbed up the fire escape and came in through the window. I've seen her before. She rents the neighboring apartment. Oh, please go there and find her. I'm sure she's connected with those fires. And take this. I hope it helps.
here's our last target. Damn! Let's get out before they arrest us!
There's a festival on Oak Street today, and the mayor's gonna give a speech. That's where we'll set off the last explosion and wipe out all those thieves and hypocrites at once. Sorry, I can't let you through without a pass card. Please, come.
take too long with that, Cameron. I'll go take care of my part of the plan. <laughs> You're too late. Just give up already. Cameron, run! There's nowhere to run. We've already cordoned off the area. Guys, this is the real Plague Doctor. Take him and his accomplice away. 
This isn't over. I'll get my revenge. I swear it. Thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you. 